Hello, everybody. I'm gonna give it, if you're watching the replay, comment replay and let me know that you were able to watch and let me know if you have any connections with me throughout the video or if you suffer with any of the things that I have list, listed above. Uh, I'm gonna give it just like a minute here and then I'll get started because I know how Facebook works is that they're notifying everybody right now. They're letting them know and I don't want to start too soon because I know a lot of people are going to be able to relate with some of the things I'm going to share tonight. And also, um, you're going to be able to connect because many of us, many of us go through certain things at different stages, at different levels in our life. And uh, when I share with you my story, I hope that, um, I hope my story inspires you to know that there's always something out there that can help. Um, there's always um, people and um, situations that can help and that you are not alone, okay? I think that's probably one of my biggest things to share with you. Hi, Sarah. Um, yes, let me know that you're on with me tonight too. It's telling me four people are here, but I only see Sarah. So let me know if you're here with me um, because again, I don't just like talking to myself, even though I will be for most of this video, but I do like to um, have that conversation back and forth. So, um, hi, Jill. So tonight, I just want to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start from the beginning, okay, um, of kind of where my journey began in terms of health things. Um, I've always been somebody who has been very healthy um, as a hygiene, as a um, child, and then healthy just growing up. I mean, I always, I was always in sports. I was, I played sports my whole life. Even in college, I would play intramural sports. Um, I, I was always, um, like I worked out in college and um, just made sure to eat as best I could, but I wasn't, you know, I never, by any means, I didn't eat like I did now, I'll tell you that much. I didn't take care of, I take way better care of myself now than I did, and don't we all, right, um, in high school, college, but because I was always active and involved in a lot of things, I I ate, you know, whatever I wanted to eat, and I'm a big sweets person, I love sweets, like you give me any sweets and I will, I will go to town, um, and so I've always been somebody who has been involved in a lot of things. Growing up, again, in, in high school, I was not just in sports, but I was also um, in different, you know, activities throughout the school, like programs and things like that, right? And then even in, it's funny, in grammar school, even if any of my grammar school friends are on here, because um, we do, you know, it's this is what's amazing about uh, social media, you guys. We're able to connect with people that we were in kindergarten with, right? Um but in grammar school, I got the lead role in my eighth grade school play. You guys, the play was Oliver Twist. So guess who I was? <laughs> I had, I was a boy, okay, Oliver, and I had to sing a solo. So I was always very outgoing and always very social, and that's just how I've always been. And then high school, same thing. And then college, you couldn't get me to come home. Like, I just always wanted to be around people. I was yes, 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 every day. I remember my mom even saying to me, like, Lauren, you never are home, ever. Like, do you ever say no to people, you know? No, I didn't want to because I loved being involved and I loved being around people. And I um, just always had that energy. And I really didn't have, hi, Heather, anxious thoughts. Like, I never counted myself as an anxious person in high school and college. I can't look back and think that. Like, in college, like, I don't think I had a care in the world, like, you know, so then graduate college, you know, real life starts to happen, right? I, I became a kindergarten teacher. Um, I did that for eight years. And as you age and as you grow up and obviously as life happens to you, different things start to obviously make you a little more anxious, right? And I remember becoming a teacher and I really didn't in the beginning of my years feel like I was an anxious person. But as I continued on, I noticed anxiety kind of creeping in a little more. And maybe that's because of stress. Maybe that's because of aging. Maybe that's because of what I was eating, what, whatever. Maybe it's because I wasn't involved in a, as much as I was before. I don't really know. 
But I remember the way I know that I was starting to get a little more anxious was because I would go and make copies and my classroom was next to the office and it had the copier in it. And I would go in there and I would, I remember these thoughts. This is how you know, you guys, if you have anxiety, okay? This is how you know that if you are somebody who, even if you don't think you do, because a lot of people don't admit that they have it. Do you know that? A lot of people will say, no, that's just normal thoughts. But really, not people who are not anxious, who I guess not anxious is how you say it, don't have these thoughts, okay? So I would go into the copy machine and my classroom is right next and I would think, like I'd be copying stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if one of the kids takes the pen, the um, scissors out of the art box and, and stabs the kid next to him? Like that's the thought that would run through my head when I'm swiping a copy and it takes two minutes to do, to do that, okay? So while I'm waiting for the copies, I would run back to the classroom and I would go check on all the kids. And they were sitting beautifully, quietly. Not one was making a peep. I mean, they don't even, they, at that time, they didn't even have their art boxes on the table, you guys. Like, and I still thought in my head, a kid's gonna go into his art box, bring the scissors back to his, and, and I'm gonna have like a blood bash in my room. Like that's where you know, it's not just like a thought, it's, it's true anxiety. And so years went on and obviously I continued teaching, but then I had my own children. Okay, and if you're a mom on here, yep, Cal, if you're a mom on here, by the way, you guys, shoot, I'm so sorry, my phone, I, I should have charged it and I didn't, so I'm gonna hold it for now until my arm breaks. But if you're a mom on here, okay, and drop it below if you are, but moms tend to have way more anxious thoughts than dads. And, and I really feel, and I, this is not, I haven't done research on this, I probably should, but in general of our anxiety and our hormones, and then having to care for a life that's not your own, right? Um, all of those things can aid and add to anxiety. Now, I know a lot of moms who are not anxious at all. I know a lot of moms. <laughs> and I'm always like, I remember being the mom who was so anxious, being like, gosh, I want to be like that mom. I want to be like that mom who that thought never crossed her mind. That thought, her kids are doing just fine. And I have some friends, you guys, who have eight or nine kids, eight or nine kids. And they, and I'm like, dude, my first question, it's not, oh my, you know, like some people will say is, you know, are you, um, you know, how could you have that many kids? No, my question is, do you get anxious? Like to me with one child, I was, yep, Mickey, yep, Katie, I'm glad I'm resonating with you guys. Um, but you know, then, then here's the thing. My child number two came. Okay. So I definitely had new mom anxiety with, with my son. Okay. That was something that I, I definitely knew I had. Um, my husband, you know, males too, they don't tend to have as much as women. That's probably something too. I'd really love to dive deep into, um, hormonal wise maybe, but I remember him saying to me like, Lauren, he, he's okay. Like, what do you, but you know, when I would leave my son, Every bad thought possible would get in my head. Every I couldn't even enjoy my night out, especially when he was a baby, okay? And now, okay, now he's older and he's grown. And he's way more active and way more, I mean, Lord knows, like anything. But when my daughter came into the picture, okay, when my daughter came into the picture is when I knew that my anxiety took a whole new level, okay? So I already knew what anxiety was like because I, like I just shared with you, I've had years of dealing with it um, the only way I really was able to ever in all those years kind of control my anxiety is surrounding myself with people who were not anxious. <laughs> if a bunch of us anxious people were in the room together, we would go nuts. Like Kelly and I, if we spent every, <laughs> every waking minute with each other, we would drive ourselves into an anxious slumber. Like it'd be crazy. But I just remember being like, you know, when I'm anxious, I need to go do something. I need to surround myself with people. I know I need to, you know, go out. I need to have fun. I need, you know, all those things took that anxiety aspect away, right? And I'm not going to lie. So did alcohol. There's, uh, there's times where just going out um, to have a good night and that loosened my anxiety, right? Um, and my husband, it's funny, would always say to me, you know, you used to be so fun in college and you used to, you know, and now, like, I'd say like almost eight months ago now, like when I would have a drink, it would cause more anxiety. Whereas before it would like loosen that up, okay? So then my daughter comes and my anxiety was way different. Way different to the fact, to the point where I, and if you resonate with this, you guys, I no longer wanted to be around other people. 
okay? I no longer wanted to go places and do things. I no longer wanted to um, leave um, leave the kids ever, ever. Um, I no longer could, like if my son was playing in the basement at my, my um, in-laws, I couldn't, I couldn't just leave him down there. I had to be down there 24 seven. They would always like literally, I mean, they would say, Lauren, you have not sat down. You have not sat down the whole time you're here. And I, I didn't, I hadn't. Um, I remember I'd get heart palpitations. I would feel like my chest, like I couldn't breathe almost. So more of an, a panic attack. Um, and then, you know, the pandemic comes, right? So you already give an anxious person and you throw a global pandemic on top of it. And I soared through the roof and I became just uh, like, again, something that just really, it was not me. It was not myself. And I knew something had to give, something had to change. Okay. And I had many friends, by the way, that were on um, different medications for anxiety. I have a lot of them actually, and a lot of mom friends. Um, and it just, no, this is me personally. It just was not it wasn't an option for me. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go down that path. And this is a personal, I'm not going to dive deep into this, but this is a personal story with myself and my family and addiction that has taken place because of medications. Okay. So I've never been on a medication and I, and I truly never want to be, um, because of things that have occurred in my family, um, through the, through the years. So with anxiety then came no sleep, you guys, no sleep. I don't know about you, but if you don't sleep properly, you are not the same person. You don't function the same way. You don't act the same way. Your personality is not the same way. You're on edge all the time. You're exhausted all the time. None of, I couldn't. I was going to bed worrying about, and this was, I would say this really hit, obviously as a mom when the babies are, aren't sleeping or things like that, that's, that's, that's gonna come with the territory, right? But this was when the pandemic hit. And I don't know if you know where I live, but I live in Chicago. And literally, I would hear helicopters left and right. I would hear the sirens right down the block from my street. I would hear glass breaking at when they went and looted the stores that literally are a block away from me. All of that. So there's no way. I mean, again, as an anxious person, I could I could ever sleep, okay? So then, so I had postpartum hair loss after my daughter. But you want to know what's crazy? Is so much more of it came during that most anxious time in my life. So my daughter was born August of 2019 and the pandemic hit March of 2020, right? So most times postpartum hair loss would happen and I did, it definitely did in that you know beginning stages. But as August, 2020 went on and all throughout until about November, December, it was nonstop hair loss, like, like crazy, crazy amounts of hair coming out. My hair was thinning very, very much. And I have very thick hair. Okay. Um, and my energy was just depleted. I was depleted of energy. I had no, no want to do things. I had no pat, like I had sold my fitness company and I was very much like, um, I sold it. And then I was stuck at home because of the pandemic. So on top of all of those things, right, going on and causing that extra additional stress and anxiousness was the energy loss too. Okay. So yeah, Sarah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Everyone deals with stress and anxiety and things differently. Right. But we all know if you've been in a, if you are an anxious person, you've been around an anxious person. Okay. You want to know what's really, really fascinating you guys. And this is only from an out, an insider getting to the outside and looking back into the inside. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you. And I'm not going to tell you that I'm healed and blah, blah, blah. I'm not telling you that, you guys. But I am going to tell you that I am 800% better than I was, okay? Now, I, have, I am able, when I'm around other anxious people now, to literally see their anxiety come out. And I am like, oh my gosh, I remember. I remember that I was just like them. And seeing it as an outside person, I now understand why my husband got so frustrated. I now understand why other people in my family would get so frustrated by my anxiety. Because it, I get it. It's very frustrating to see someone be so anxious about something in your mind you don't see as a big deal. But when you are that person who's going through the anxiety, no one's going to understand it. I mean, they really won't unless they're super, super just nonstop care, caring. Because... It gets frustrating for people.
But for me, being someone who was then on the, the inside and being able to see, holy crap, you guys, I wanted to scream and be like to all the people that I've now surrounded, like, I've been there. I know what you're going through. I understand completely. And I want you to know you're okay. You are okay. It's okay to feel that way. But what I want to scream even more to these people is that there is something that can help. Okay? There is something that can help. And now I'm going to go into, into what that is. Okay? So just recently, um, well, just, okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Just recently, I had a, a, a moment on an airplane with one of uh, a girl in the, in, um, a partner. Okay. It, not a partner. That sounds weird. <laughs> a friend who's also in the company with me. Okay. And it was on our, our latest retreat. And I just, again, remember her uh, stress on the airplane of, um, things that I used to say. Okay. Like, wait a minute, Lauren, I can't talk to you right now because I want to hear the pilot and what he's going to say, because when the pilot comes on, that makes me feel better. And I literally like had to stop myself in my track. And I was like, are you me right now? Are you me? Like, it was crazy. And you know what's even more crazy? Is that I didn't have those thoughts. She was having them. I didn't have those because I had my tool with me, okay? So here's the deal, you guys. Like I shared with you before, okay? I shared with you before that I've, I've been through it. I've been there. I understand. I understand what anxiety can do to you as a person. I understand what it can do to your family. I understand all of it. I also understand what no energy feels like, what no sleep feels like. And then obviously, like I shared hair loss, but knowing that there's something out there. And again, I wasn't going for me personally. And I'm just reiterating this for people who jump on late. I wasn't going to go medical route because of addiction that, that resides in my family. Okay. So I found now eight months ago, Okay, I found the tool that I didn't know I needed, but I needed it so bad, okay? And everything happens for a reason, and I, I swear, um, I, I'm a religious person, most people on here know that, but God puts things in your life for a reason. And the day I saw this product was the day that he knew I needed it the most. He knew I needed this the most, okay? And it just happened, you guys, it was on a Facebook story that I saw this product. This is on a Facebook story. And when I share here and I express to you how all of these women and men that invited you into this group share every day because they are passionate about helping others, I'm one of those others that they were able to help because they shared via social media. Okay? I would never know this otherwise. And not that I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say I'd never know it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have tried it. Because now I'm going to jump, dive into this, our CBD whole flower fluid, okay? I've seen CBD all over the place, all over. It's everywhere, right? It's everywhere now. As of recently in the United States, it has really, really become a bigger thing, right? So I see it more and more and more. But I've had tons of friends, tons, even my own husband, who would tell me, Lauren, try this. Try to smoke something. Try and eat a gummy. Try some CBD and just relax. And I would always say, no, no, no. Because here's the thing too, you guys understand, I was one of those people that because of the medication addiction in my family, I wasn't gonna try anything that I thought was an addiction piece, okay? Now, if I was to smoke or try a gummy, that was going down that road. But I was very uneducated on CBD. I was very uneducated. I did not know, and I wrote it off because of all the other things I had heard, all right? So this day, when I had saw the CBD whole flower fluid, and now again, to me it triggered better, and, and I was able to connect, because when I saw whole flower fluid and I saw the way it was presented, again, as straight plant to bottle, and being in its most raw and organic form, that really spoke to me. Because again, I care very much so about what goes into my body, okay? I've expressed that before. But that day I was supposed to see that. And I had reached out to the woman and I had said, you know, let me try this. And I also wanted my dad to try it. My dad was somebody who has suffered from anxiety, depression, um, pain for a very long time. And he had, he is somebody who also, he had taken, tried everything. I mean, you could everything, um, type of CBD or marijuana or any of that to, to relieve pain. Okay. So I had seen that, right. I had seen and thought it didn't work for him. Right. So I'm not going to try it. I still didn't try it. You guys, when it came and I gave it to my dad 
and I told my dad, hey, I want you to try this for me and let me know. Just let me know, you know, how it feels. And I didn't even tell him that I was going to try it. My husband, of course, wanted me to. You know, he was like, yes, you are trying this. You need to, blah, blah, blah. I dove in and did more research after I had gotten it. And I, after I said, I'll hear back from my dad and then I'll decide. So I, my dad had within a, within less than a day, like that day that I gave it to him had told me, Lauren, this stuff is better than anything else I've tried. You guys, and he used to go, I'm not, like, I'm not kidding. He used to go to like the top end of the top end places to get, whether it be marijuana or CBD or whatever, to relieve some of that pain. And when he had told me that, I was like, what? Like, is this possible, right? So then that's when I decided. And you guys, within 30 minutes, I still remember this, within 30 minutes, I was like, Do, is this real? Like, it felt like a weight was just lifted off. And I, again, I felt because I was very skeptical of anything uh, in that world that I'm like, no, it's, it's placebo. It's totally my mind doing it. It's totally my mind. So I had my husband take it. My husband's like the most non-anxious person in the world. I really, he more needs it to like calm down. And so I had him take it and he was like, I love it. This is great. And then I had a couple of his work people take it and all of them were loving it. So I knew it wasn't just that like placebo aspect of it. I knew that more was going on. Then I'm telling you my true story here. I dove right into the company. When my dad said it, it worked, I went, I went and bought the whole pack. I bought the whole huge starter pack. And I said, okay, if it works for my dad, then what they have their hands on here is insane. Okay. And then I did, I bought it. You guys, I did all of my research after I bought it. Okay. I bought it. I dove in. You guys, I share my research with you. I dove into these products and I was blown away and blown away and blown away every single time. And so I continued on our CBD whole flower fluid. And you guys, in eight months, and within these eight months, my husband has told me repeatedly, you are a different person. You are the person that I, I, I married. You know, like even my family, like Lauren, you are so different. Like you, I mean... I am the person that I knew I always was supposed to be, but anxiety was taking over. It was controlling my life. And when on that airplane, I had sprayed my four sprays of our serene before the airplane. I do it every time I travel because when I travel with my kids, it's very stressful. And or when I travel in general, I mean, by myself, it's nowhere near as stressful as with kids, obviously, but I did not react the same way. I wasn't. So then I started using it for sleep, right? Over those months, I started using it for sleep. You guys, I've gotten some of the best sleep of my life. The best sleep of my life. Last night even, I, I posted this. I mean, this happens all the time, but last night, my kid has a cast on his arm and it doesn't feel good, you guys, when it hits you in the head. But last night and every, a lot of nights, he comes in our bed at like three in the morning and goes right back to sleep. He was laying literally diagonal and under my armpit. I didn't have a clue until my alarm went off in the morning and I had my CBD at I took it at 11 o'clock. I fell asleep probably at like 11. And I don't normally do this. I give myself a little bit of time. But I fell, I fell asleep at like 11.30. And I woke up at 7.30 when my alarm went off. So you guys, when I tell you that something is out there that truly can help you, I'm telling you, it, it truly can if you give it the chance and you give it the opportunity and you watch as the months go on how it works. Now, in the beginning, I was taking it more consistently. Now, I only use as needed. That's the beauty. I only use as needed. And so for my hair loss, I started on the collagen. And why I say November and December is because I didn't start on the collagen right away. I actually, when I got my whole kit and I bought the whole entire package, I started giving it out to multiple people because here's the deal, you guys. I had seen my dad's testimony on it and my own and my husband's and I was like I'm collecting testimonies all around me all around me because you better believe when I start sharing this I want people to see that other people I love and care about are now feeling better are now getting results right so I just spread it all out so I didn't personally even touch the collagen until about two months in and that's when my hair I couldn't believe it I wasn't pulling chunks of hair out now could that also in turn have gone with that anxiety sure it could have, but I also know just because of my hairstylist and I see her all the time, she is like, Lauren, your hair is unbelievably full and vo voluminous and it's growing like crazy. And so I knew that that had to, that was the collagen. And now to finish this off with energy wise, you guys crazy. Okay. Now energy, I, I say it, I got my mojo back 
because not only was the CBD working, but you guys, I had started on our coffee right away. I had started on our coffee and that mojo, it's a whole nother world of coffee, a whole nother world. I love coffee, but I never had coffee that made me actually feel good, feel better after I drank it. I never had coffee that I didn't get a crash, right? I never had coffee that I could have half the cup even and still be feeling good and energized, all right? So I consistently took that. I love the mojo. But as of recently, I've been really, really diving into our vibe, which is our um, brain, our whole our whole food. Sorry, guys. I have like 50 messages coming right now of people asking questions. I love it. But it's our brain power food, and it's our energy and our natural B vitamins and what it can do for overall body health as well as metabolism as well as my brain. And I don't know about you, but as a mom, I was definitely feeling like as of lately and maybe just being very busy too because I have started to run a company now and run a team and run a business and all this goodness. I feel like my brain cells are kind of missing sometimes. My mojo gives me that energy and then I'm like, okay, now I need that energy to function on all the tasks I need to do. So I've been taking the vibe and the vibe, I'm telling you, I feel, again, because these products are 100% plant-based, all natural, no fillers, no additives, no synthetics, you literally feel them working. And I feel, again, it's not just if Jason, our, our friend Jason Zintarski, he was our biggest skeptic for our vibe. He was swearing, he was like, there's no way this is working like it does, no way. And he'll tell you right now, it works beautifully. <clears throat> when you need to focus, get things done, when you need to have that energy, when you need to have, my husband takes it for work, when he has work projects, anything like that, when he needs to just calm down to and, and hone in and focus on what he needs to, it's beautiful. It's beautiful what true products that have been th thought through for years, you guys, they didn't just come up with these products in one year time. These are clinical data, research-based, years and years and years of studies that have been done to make sure what we're putting out there is the best of the best. So that is my story to you. That is what I wanted to share. And I had to let you know that again, I've been there. If you are somebody who's gone through anxiety or going through it now, or you're somebody who has those moments, do I have anxious moments that creep in? Sure. A hundred percent I do. But now I have a tool. I have a tool that I can use that helps me get through those moments and keeps me as the mom, the wife, the friend, the daughter, the person that I know God intended me to be, keeps me here, keeps me in this world as what I was intended to be, okay? And I'm able to succeed in, in many things because of that, okay? Anxiety can rear its ugly head and make you really feel like you can't succeed in certain things too, right? So I want you to know I have that tool. We present it to you. We share it with you. We want to be able for you to at least get your hands on it and see again for yourself. Now, again, I'm, I'm going on eight months eight months of this going on, okay, that I've been able to really see when I look back, which I can't even believe it's eight months, holy crap, but I really got to see, wow, within that first month I was able to tell, but like I couldn't really see what was happening until the months went on, okay? So if you have questions, whoever put you in this group, please reach out to them, please ask them, they can give you a ton of information and we want to just help as many of you as possible because that is why we are here. That is why we share so much because again, we've been in your shoes and we want to, we want to help as many people as possible. So thank you guys so much for listening to my story. Good night.